All right. Welcome to your uh, personalized deep dive. We're tackling induction versus infrared cooking today. Sounds like a hot topic. Yeah. You've sent in um, some research, and I'm pretty excited to like get into it with our expert here and see if we can help you figure out you know, the best choice for you and, and all your kitchen adventures. Yeah, let's let's break it down. Okay. First things first. Mm -hmm. um, like, How do these things even work? Is, is it magic or something? Well, I mean, there's it's definitely a bit of science fiction uh, going on under that that sleek glass surface. But really, it's all about different ways of heating your pots and pans. So induction uses electromagnetic fields to create heat directly in the cookware. Whoa. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it's almost like um, creating an invisible heat force field just directly in your pan. Infrared's a little bit more familiar. It's more about radiation sending out those waves of heat energy that then get absorbed by the cookware. So induction sounds super high tech. Like, is it worth all the hype? I mean, what about infrared? It sounds a little bit more, I don't know, more familiar to me. Yeah, no, totally. The material you sent over really highlights, uh, I think, some of the key differences. Um, induction is like a total champion when it comes to energy efficiency. Right. Like up to 90% of the energy used actually goes straight into heating your food, yeah. which is, it's really impressive. Infrared, on the other hand, uh, you know, it loses a little bit more heat to the to the surrounding air. Okay, that makes sense. But it does have the advantage of working with, you know, any kind of cookware, glass, ceramic, whatever you've got. Induction's a little pickier. You need pots and pans with magnetic properties, you know, like your cast iron or stainless steel. Right, right. Yeah, I've definitely run into that issue before. Hmm. Okay, well, I am all about speed in the kitchen. I mean, let's be honest. Speed is key. So which one heats up faster? And then... Is there a clear winner when it comes to like controlling the heat? Yeah, for those recipes where like precise temperature is super important. Yeah, for sure. Both of them actually heat up super quickly. But I, I would say induction generally takes the lead in a speed test. But control, I think that's where induction really like shines. Okay. It gives you that like precise temperature control that's really essential for things like, you know, delicate sauces, melting chocolate. You really need that fine tuning. Infrared, it offers more like even heat distribution, but it's not quite as precise as induction. Okay, yeah. No, that's a really good distinction. Okay. Yeah. Well, safety first, right? So the research mentioned burn risks. Um, what what's the deal there? Yeah, that's a that's a great point. With induction, the cooktop itself actually stays cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Only the pot or pan gets hot, and that's because of that electromagnetic field. So, you know, it's yeah. pretty it's pretty safe in that sense. Mm. Um, infrared, on the other hand, like we were saying, the whole cooktop surface heats up. And so that can definitely be a burn hazard, especially if you've got like little ones running around the kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. OK, so, you know, this is this is really making me rethink my kitchen setup. I'm leaning towards induction just because you know, the efficiency, the speed, the control, like you said. But I, I do like that infrared works with any type of cookware. So what what are your final thoughts? Well, yeah, I mean, both of these technologies have their own strengths, right? Mm -hmm. So I think ultimately it really comes down to, like you said, your cooking style, you know, and your priorities. So if you really value, you know, speed, precision, you are all about that energy efficiency, induction might be the way to go for you. But if you if you like using all those different types of cookware, you know, you want that even heat distribution, then maybe infrared could be a better fit. What, what kind of stood out to you from our conversation? What are you thinking? I'm definitely thinking about those those factors like you mentioned the efficiency the control the speed yeah but i mean i also think about long-term value mm -hmm. you know like are there big differences in i don't know durability or maintenance between the two? Ooh, that's a really good question um both induction and infrared cooktops are generally pretty durable they're easy to clean which is always nice yeah but i will say that you know the smooth glass surface on those induction cooktops it can be prone to like scratching. Oh. And you know, like with any technology, I guess repairs can can get a little pricey. So I think it's worth, you know, thinking about all that when you're making your decision. Okay, awesome. No, this has been super helpful. I I feel like I have a lot to think about now. Thank you so much for walking me through all of this. Yeah, of course. It sounds like you did a lot of research before coming in, and I think you're you're definitely on the right track to making a really informed decision. And I think, like you said, the big takeaway is that, you know, both induction and infrared, they offer like really fantastic cooking experiences. Mm -hmm. And it really does just come down to, you know, what you need and what you prefer. Absolutely. Well, this has been another deep dive. Thanks again for listening. Thanks for having me.
please like this video and subscribe to our channel. For more detail you can visit our blog website www.evergreentechtips.com.